Hello and welcome to Station Is. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you my design for a Harvey setup. Now, this is what my actual Harvey bays look like. You can hardly see anything going on there because there's so many phones in the way. But the actual Harveys themselves are set up on a grid like this. As we all know, you can't put these hydroponic devices next to each other. They have to be spaced one space apart. Now, you have a choice here of using pipes between them or you can use hydroponic trays between them and in any way shape or form you choose but as i say in this design i've used pipes and trays but you don't have to do that you can just use pipes so this is the basic starting principle so for each bay you want at least one grow light at least nine trays nine harveys a few walls and about 60 to 70 odd shoots. So you start by taking the Harveys and placing them above each hydroponic device with the inside facing the outside, if that makes any sense. So you want the Harveys taking from the shoot around the outside above each hydroponic device. Now it might be easier to not put any more trays than you than the, the, the basic layout I showed you to start with, just so you don't get confused. So you pop down your nine Harveys per per bay, I call them bays, with the inside facing out like so. Okay, so once you have your Harvey set up like this, you want to grab your shoot and starting from the end most Harvey here, now some people might not know that from a shoot junction if you have it facing like this even though it says in to the backmost edge of that they can actually grab from that side so if you pop one down from the back of the of, of the setup you pop one down facing left and then on each side you put one down you can press delete to turn it this way and again you just do the same thing for each and every delete again each and every corner now obviously if you run out of shoots you've got to start again and there we go there's another one and so on So there's your basic layout. Now what we want to do is this one to the right of the back, you want to get a corner. We can find the corner. And you want the corner to face towards the back, like that. And then you want to grab another junction. We might need enough shoots in our inventory for that. And again, you want it to face the same direction. Now you also want another junction. Let me grab another shoot. Facing the exact same way again. And that's almost essentially the basics of the outside ring. Now on the inside, you want to keep your shoots going and you want to face them this direction. And you want to do the same here. You're going to do the same here, but you're going to have to flip it. So, is it, yeah, no, not page down, um, insert will do the trick to get you, two inserts will get you to there. Now, you're actually going to need to do the same thing again now, so, oops. And insert again twice will get you back to there. So you want all the arrows facing the same direction, these arrows facing this way. And then the arrow is going round in a circle. So that's the beginning of the shoot system. From here it gets a bit easier. You go to straight shoot and then you line a corner shoot, a straight shoot, just to get this whole chain going. So essentially what you're doing is anything that comes out of the Anything that comes out of these these Harveys here is going to go into the system and come right, go round, all the way round, loop back again. Anything coming out of these ones, we'll, we'll touch on them in a minute. 
but that's going to feed into the same system again. So let's just carry on the way we're going and you'll see what I mean. Yeah, that was a nice quick storm that's not going to interrupt my video too much. Okay, we, we've... Oh no, it's not finished yet. So there we get another few shoots now. The problem we have is that we can't grab the ones... Ah, come on. There and there. Now the problem is these ones here, we can't actually grab shoots like we can for this side. For the main reason is we're going to have to put a grow light in here. That needs wires and wires interfere with shoots. They don't like each other very much at all. So what we can do instead is get a shoot inlet and face the direction towards the back of the, the bay and do two like that. Grab some more shoots again. I hope I have enough shoots in for this build. So we got something looking like this. And then you want to get a corner. And you want to face the corner out with both of these. And then you're going to want a, a straight piece to come... Whoops. Come out from them. Come on. There we go. Now, this is the bit where it gets a little bit complicated because you probably want to turn your Harveys on first, even if they're not wired up, because you won't be able to access them again without taking the shoots off. So for that reason, I would recommend at this point putting in a window. And we have a few more shoots over here. That's good. Like I said, this takes over 60 shoots. So then you want to put another junction there and another window there just so you can see what Harvey is telling you now this one wants to feed wow. yeah thanks for that okay very quickly I'll go run and figure that out that'll do you for now and um, getting back to where we were this one you want to run it back into the same back into the system so anything that comes out of these harveys at the back there the them two at the back there will run back into the system once it's gone round the system it'll run into this chute here which you can just well you can run that into a chute system that goes to a recycler or into a composter or into a stacker or whatever you choose it doesn't really matter but the main point is that it goes around in a circle and comes back out. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is start wiring up these trays, and I should have some footage of that. And one more quick thing before I forget is the last corner here. You don't want to forget that. Now, you're going to want to put a wall eventually up at this point, but we'll get around to that in a minute. So I find the easiest way to wire these trays up is to stick one cable sticking upwards out from each and every tray first, just so you can see what you're working with. And then from there, including the back one, don't forget the back one, whatever you do. Now, from the back one here, the easiest way to connect that up is to... Come on, get round to it is to wire it round the trays and connect into the side rather than trying to run it any other way and then put a junction on each and every one and run a straight cable from each junction to every other junction this is a bit messy it's not nice to have wires above where you're working but you know it is what it is now, at this point, you want to start running cables upwards and then running that cable up to the Harveys up the top. And that'll just connect in daisy chain to every Harvey. And you want to do the same thing on the other side. This just minimizes the amount of cable that you're going to use and connects everything up nicely. Now, everything will be on the same network. 
just excuse the due diligence as always and it, it it's just a nice simple clean easy way of of wiring everything together that you're not going to have any problems now you're going to need free ic housings you're going to need free ic chips for each bay because the harveys work in pairs so you want to label them one harvey starting from the middle back let's say you do we call them one and um, harvey one uh, tray one and then harvey two tray two and so on and so on each chip does three of them so once you get to the top here as you can see there it's just basically daily chained in a circle you can disconnect each bay from each other bay it doesn't really matter which way you go around you can start going one way or the other um, you can either go left or go right whatever takes your fancy it doesn't really matter just as long as they're all connected because if you miss any then of course it's going to cause problems and again it's a really simple way of just daisy chaining everything together now each corner there where you can see it ran up from below it'll just connect in a junction so do one corner and one corner facing downwards and you will connect them up nicely same on the other side you, you might fall down a couple of times that doesn't make any difference it is what it is <laughs> So that's the shoots, that's the wiring. So in terms of the actual code itself, I am only using, now most people may be aware of Cows Are Evil. He has a Harvey controller script dated from December 22, Cows Are Evil. You can control up to three Harveys on them separate cycles. And you can use seeds, you can use poop or um not poop uh, the stuff that comes out of the composter fertilizer that's the word i'm looking for and it, it's a basic same code that you use for every harvey now in these pins i have shush one two hydroponics device three harvey one harvey two harvey three you can see the harveys on the right the hydroponics on the left and labeled so and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I just went 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and there'll be 19, 20, 21, and so on and so on. And all you have to do is once you've powered them up and put the chip in and you've got the, 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 the error flashing and you've got the hydroponic and Harvey on each one, you just cut the cable between them and you'll only have to deal with the nine you've got in each bay so i use i've found that using rice and using potatoes that having seeds actually gets you a, a, a bigger net yield depending on what you want of course if you just want food then don't bother with the seeds but if you if you're looking for biomass then having seeds is definitely the best idea what else can i tell you oh, okay the grow light now in turn in order to get the grow light you need to get some walls do i have any walls lying around i do you whoop, you want to stick down the walls facing it doesn't matter whether you're facing down or up but you want to have two walls like that you grab your grow light and if you can get under the Harveys that you've got. There we go. And you basically, you want the power sticking towards... Come on, don't... It might be better to do this before you put the shoots in, actually. There we go. You want it facing the two shoots that you put in on purpose with the vents facing out now the, the vents the inlets that's the word i'm looking for now the reason that i say that you need to have 
this one is because you can't run this anywhere. Even if you run these ones literally straight up and out into the rest of the Harveys, these guys can't go anywhere. I mean, you I guess you could run a junction into a down no you couldn't you wouldn't get a downward facing either now the problem is i've got an extra shoot here because sometimes these will spit them out so far that they actually end up in the trays as has happened over here on occasion i can't i can't see them anymore but they have happened before so what you can do to combat that i find well there's there's two things you can do number one is you can put a shoot there you can't put a shoot there because it doesn't work, but you can put in a wall, obviously put some frames, uh, some sheets in there. And I think that catches the majority of it. I mean, I can't guarantee it'll catch 100% of it. And do excuse the fact that I'm jumping between footage at the moment in order to present this tutorial. But that is essentially how you get the grow light in. Now, in terms of the grow light script, I don't know if you know how to make grow light scripts, but up here, and I apologize for the spoilers for people who are watching my series, by the way. One of these will be... Yeah, Hydra Station grow lights. Grow lights on, sleep. Uh, Hydra Station grow lights on, off. Start. That's really as simple as it is, and I got that script from, just to give the credit where credit's due, there we go, Rossi's Grow Light Automation, it's there on the workshop. Anyone can download that and work away, it's exactly what I'm using, it works very well, I have no problems with it for the basic plants, I don't know if it'll work, it won't work for all plants obviously, but it'll work for the majority of them. So that's my Harvey design. I don't know if it's the most optimal, but it works for me. It's making plenty of, of, of produce. And like I say, if you could be a little bit more proactive than me, you could run them shoots into stackers. You could run them shoots into wherever and whatever you want to do. Run it into automated ovens and produce tens, tins of food, sell them to traders. The world, excuse me, the world is your oyster. And on that note, goodbye for now.